everyone, this is Minnie, the Shoujo Nut, and I am here today to answer one of the most basic of questions. What is Shoujo and Shonen? Shoujo, Shonen, Josei, Seinen are all names of demographics anime or manga fall under. Shonen is targeted at young guys. Shoujo is aimed at young gals. Josei is aimed at older women. Seinen is aimed at older men. Now with all that information, how can you tell which demographic your anime fall under? Well, the short answer is just look at what magazine your manga or manga-based anime ran in. For Shonen, there is Weekly Shonen Jump, Weekly Shonen Champion, Weekly Shonen Magazine, Jump Square, and more. As for Shoujo, there is Lala, Kara, and my personal favorite, Betsuma. Cookie is a notable one for Josei, and Young Animal is a notable one for Sinan. But Minnie, what if my anime is an original? I still want to know its demographic. Well, that is the long answer. In the past, you can just look at it and tell. For Shoujo, they have bigger eyes, more sparkles, usually romance, relationship based. Basically, it's, it's just girlier. As for shonen, they are usually sports, action, adventure, you know, typical things that society says only boys can enjoy. Well, these days, the distinction is not as clear. The line is kind of blurred. For example, one of my favorite, Natsume Yujinju, has plenty of action, adventure, and yet it's a Josei, borderline shoujo. On the other hand, shows like Princess Tutu or Strawberry 100%, that contains, you know, bigger eyes, has romance undertones, um, has skirts, tutus, whatever, are actually shonen. Now you're probably very confused. That is the point. I mean, not only boys can watch shonen and girls can watch shoujo, anime is anime. We should be able to watch whatever we like. But I still want to answer this question by my friend thoroughly. So I went on ahead and chatted with a shonen fan and me representing the shoujo fan base. After a few hours of discussion, this is the answer we came up with. No matter what it looks like or what genres it contains, shoujo is about inner growth. Shonen is about outer growth. Let me explain. As a society, women are expected to be in tune of their feelings, so then they can be there for their husbands, their wives, their children, their grandchildren, their brothers, their fathers. As for men, they are raised to look for their place in the world. What can I accomplish? How can I leave my mark in this world before I die? With this in mind, it is no-brainer why shonen usually contain a very concrete goal, such as I want to become the best pitcher in my baseball team, or I want to be Hokage, or I want to save the world from demons, or I want to find the One Piece, and stuff like that. Meanwhile, in shoujo, the characters are really busy trying to search for happiness, ways to be happy. It can be... Usually the main character is someone who wants to develop herself. She wants to turn from a crybaby to an independent woman or a guy is trying to move past his previous failed relationship or it can be someone who's trying to come to terms with their feelings for senpai. So brilliantly, the demographics contain exactly what they want their audience to take away from. Women, to be more in tune with their feelings and know how to cope with unexpected emotions and men to accomplish life goals. This is exactly why I always push for men to watch more shoujo and women to watch more shonen because overall, too often, men lack emotional capacity because society just says no, that's not what you are. 
why women are way too engrossed with their feelings and such to go out there and accomplish bigger projects. And there you go, that is my long answer to the question. I would also like to add that any well-rounded anime should have elements of both, but the more dominant one would tell you which demographic it is from. So yeah, you're welcome. Hi again everyone! Please, please do let me know in the comments if I mispronounce the names of the demographic. I'm not Japanese and my accent is very questionable. So please do let me know so then in my future videos I can pronounce them correctly. So please like, comment, subscribe, ask me anything anime related and I'll get back to you in a video. And with that, I'll eye-huggle you next time. <laughs>